Hello everyone, welcome back to another haul video. <laughs> um, I've been trying really hard to do these weekly, so I'm uh, I'm catching up because I'm behind by like three weeks. It's been crazy with work and trying to be a mom and working on my reselling business all at the same time. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> Um, so yes, I'm a little behind, but I'm hoping to get caught up with my haul videos and everything in life. I just hope to get caught up. <laughs> um, so today I have a 40 item haul, all from the Goodwill outlet. I paid by the pound. I do not know what I paid. I don't know if this is, I don't know which hauls are which for what I paid. So you just get to know how many items. I got 40 items. I have quite a bit of shoes here. I got a lot of shoes this time. Um, and you know, some bread and butter items, nothing too crazy, but still stuff that will sell for profit considering I only got them for like a dollar. So let's get into it. We'll start with shoes. I've got a big Ikea bag here and I have a table. <laughs> I put a table right here so I can set my bags on them and I don't have to lean over. So that is awesome. Here we go. First up are these Dansko clogs. They have the embroidered detail on the side. That's the main reason why I wanted to pick them up because they do have some wear. They have some scuffing to the suede and a little bit of heel drag. So I have to clean them up a little bit, but, um, I thought they, they're still in really good condition considering those uh, little signs of wear. But the embroidery on the side is um, something that people are going to be looking for. And yeah, they are a size 41. Um, I think that's a 10 and a half in women's. So those were a good find. I have them up for 40. Still gonna be bending over to drop these shoes. And I shook the camera. <laughs> Okay, next up are these Vibram toe shoes. They are all pink, which is really cool. They're in really good condition. These do fairly well. Um, they resell for, I want to say, like 25 to 35, maybe 40. Um, yeah, I haven't seen the pink ones. And these are a size, I want to say a 10. Yeah, I think they are a women's 10. Um, I have them up for 30. Next is a new to me brand, which I would say be on the lookout for just because they do resell for quite a bit. They there are not very many listed, um, but the sell through rate was pretty good. I wanna say it was maybe like 80%. So almost 100% sell through rate. They are called Ponto. Let's see if I can get that to focus. This is what the logo looks like on the inside. They are like a faux leather. Maybe they're real leather. Oh, they're like a recycled leather. That's what it says. These are a men's size 11 and a half. They're just very lightweight kind of dress shoes. Very nice. These are in super good condition. I have them posted for 80. Let's see. I feel like I need to put the shoes somewhere without <laughs> causing a scene. Next up are these Picolinos. I love picking up this brand. They retail for really high and they have a very good following and a very good, you know, resale value if you are able to get them at the bins. These ones I have up for 40. They're just um, like a woven kind of... I guess like a low espadrille sandal and then they tie along the ankle. These are very cute. They're in really good condition. They're size 37. These ones, I maybe should have passed on these, but I do like the style. Um, just kind of like a Mary Jane clog. They're Dansko. They have quite a bit of wear that I wish I would have paid more attention to when I picked them up. Um, but I did price them based on, you know, they're still wearable, but they do have some visible signs of wear. They're not in, you know, great used condition, which is what I try to stick to, especially with shoes. I do not want to clean shoes. Um, 
I, I only sell shoes that I would personally buy myself on used. Um, so yes, those I maybe would pass if I were to go back in time. <laughs> I think I have them up for 20. Um, these are a pair of Merrill trail running shoes. They're men's size 12. Really good condition. Um, the Vibram sole, which is something I always, um, I look the shoe up if I don't know what brand it is and they have the Vibram sole just to see kind of what they resell for. Um, yeah, these ones do fairly well and they probably will go for about 30. These are so cute. <laughs> Look at these. They're like little Garnet Hill kids wool, like felted wool slippers. They're so cute and so perfect for Easter. They're basically brand new and I love them so much. They're a kid size 13. Um, yeah, cute little rabbit slippers. I have these up for 30, I think 30. Um, but yeah, so cute. <laughs> Next are these rainbow brand flip-flops in pretty good condition. I have never sold a pair of these before in my life, so I don't know how they're going to do, but I see a lot of people do well with them, so I decided to give them a try because they were at the, the bins and they were in really good condition. There's a little bit of toe wear, as you can see. You can't really see that in real life, but um, yeah, so very light wear. I have them up for 20 I think 20, I think just 20 is what I have them up for. These are a pair of Cole Haan Zero Grand sandals. Um, not my favorite brand to pick up. I feel like this day was kind of rushed and I was getting that like anxiety of not finding anything. So I just started throwing things in my cart. So this was one of them. Um, but I figured I would give it a try because they are the Zero Grand which is a line from Cole Haan. Um, their sandals, it's, it's almost spring. I thought I would give it a try. These ones I think I have up for 25. Oh, sorry. Um, these ones are so funky, <laughs> but they are free people. They're just these like funky little gladiator sandals and they tie along your ankle. They are pretty cute and in pretty good condition. You can't really see, maybe you can see that. It says free people in there. Um, I have them up for 40, they're a size 38. And yeah, I love finding free people shoes. I will buy them all day long at the bins. And I hope those have quite a bit of washers, so we'll see how long those last. These are a pair of Salvatore Ferragamo. They are like a vintage heel, but I picked them up because it has this pretty large buckle on the front, which I'm hoping will help sell them because I don't know how quickly they will sell. Um, the last Ferragamos I had were, <laughs> they were a narrow and they took like two years to sell. These ones are wide. They are nine and a half wide. So a little bit better of a size and they're in really good condition. They don't have a lot of wear. I think I have them up for 50, just kind of seeing how they do. And then I will drop the price as time goes on. This is a new to me brand that retails for a lot of money. They are called Bow Dillies. You might not be able to see that. Um, they are a leather men's loafer. These retail for hundreds and some of them listed on eBay used are listed for the hundred dollar range, but the ones that have sold have only sold for like 30, $40. So mine are up for 40, I want to say, and I'm uh, only a few of them have sold from this brand. Um, and they were all in that lower range. So I'm expecting mine to sell hopefully because they're, all the other ones are for like $150. Um, okay, that was it for shoes. Let's get into the clothing here. One second. Switch my Ikea bags. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I kind of forgot what we have. 
Okay, this is a KOD, which, oh my gosh, J. Cole, I think. He's a, an artist, a singer. Um, I sold one of his other band tees fairly quickly. I think I only had it listed for a couple weeks. So I saw this, I thought I'd pick it up and give it a try. It is listed for 25. A lot of these brands that I picked up this time are newer brands to me that I'm I'm giving them a shot. <laughs> we'll see how they do. A lot of them are brands that I haven't ever picked up, but the sell-through rate was fairly good. So I thought I would give it a try. Like this brand, Nobody's Child. I've never heard of this brand. I think it's similar to maybe an H&M. I think it's like a UK brand, maybe, if I'm remembering right. It's just a really pretty maxi dress. It has a high neck, can't really see, sorry. High neck, long sleeve, which are keywords that people are definitely typing in when looking for dresses. And it has the open back. It's really, really pretty. And I wanna say it's a size eight. Let me check. It has a leg slit. Okay, here's the size. <laughs> uh, yeah, US size eight. This one I think I have up for 25. We will see how that does. I'm not expecting much for that. I think the sell through rate was okay. Um, but yeah, we'll see. This is a North Face waffle knit kind of mock neck sweater. It's very, very cute and cozy. And it's a size extra large. Very tempted to keep this. Um, resell is not very high on this, even though it's so precious. Does it fit me? Will it? Maybe I should just keep this. <laughs> I have it up for $24.99 and I actually bought some of that laundry detergent that re-darkens faded blacks. So I'm going to try it out with this and then I have a men's Lululemon hoodie that I'm also going to try and see if it works. Um, El Ducho Thrift, I watch her videos. She's the one who kind of um, introduced me to that. So I'm going to try it. I'm excited to try it on that and see how it does it is a little bit faded this is something i probably shouldn't have picked up cloth and stone but um it is a, a jumper jumpsuit so that is why and it is the gauzy kind of material that was another reason why i picked it up but it is an extra small so <laughs> we'll see i've had zero luck with cloth and stone lately um this i think i have up for 19.99 we're just going with it. We're seeing how it does. Um, this is a Hello Kitty graphic tee. I thought it was very cute. Never seen this print before. Well, I didn't see it anywhere on eBay. And it is from the Hello Kitty brand. It's not vintage. It's from 2020. I think vintage Hello Kitty is where it's at. This is not vintage. I think I have it up for $12.99. A lot of this stuff is not very exciting. I'm sorry. <laughs> but hopefully you're just listening to me while you're listing and it fills the room with noise. <laughs> That's what I do. Um, these are La Sportiva shorts. This is a rock climbing like mountaineer brand. These are women's climbing shorts. Um, they don't resell for much, but um, I've really been kind of getting into uh, selling the rock climbing stuff because I've sold a few pair of the rock climbing shoes and they sold fairly quickly and for a good amount. So I thought I would give these a shot. I think I have them up for $24.99. This was just too cute. I couldn't leave it. Uh, HD in Paris, which is an anthropology brand. This is just a super cute green like flower print skirt um i thought like spring saint patrick's day easter so cute and i think it's a good size it's a size eight i think i have this one up for 19.99 or 20. i'm not expecting much for that i'll buy the anthro pieces if they're like a newer style or um trend a newer trend but i know i'm not gonna get as much for them now as I used to back in the day. So I'll still pick them up though. If I can flip them for at least 20. These are a pair of Can Can jeans. 
They have the exposed button fly and the distressing in the knees. Raw hem. They are a skinny jean, but I'm still picking up skinny jeans. They're a size 27. Yeah, really good condition. A lighter wash. I think I have these ones up for $29.99. Can Can is really hit or miss for me. Though I'll like have them listed for months and then they'll sell for like full price. So I'll just list it and forget it. And then I, I know eventually they'll sell. This is a really cute free people top. I just liked the bandana print. It reminded me, you know, summertime festival wear. I thought somebody needed to have this in their life and it's an extra small, but it is oversized, really cute. Um, stock photo is really cute as well. I use stock photos, FYI. <laughs> That's just my preference when shopping online. I like to see what it looks like as if I were to buy it online and then I compare it to, you know, what the person is selling. But this I have uh, up for $24.99. This is a new Atag Garnet Hill Cashmere Sweater. It is not really sweater season anymore, but it's new a tag and it's cashmere. I have this up for 50 and it has quite a few watchers actually. So we'll see if that sells before summertime. <laughs> this is a new a tag Chico's. It is a size zero. So it is their extra small, I want to say, but it is an open front linen cardigan or jacket, open front jacket kind of like a duster length or not a duster just past the bottom um I have it up for $29.99 I believe oh hi <laughs> I have a visitor these are a pair of Adriana Goldschmied jeans they're the legging ankle super skinny ankle um yeah these I have up for I think 30. Next is a new to me brand Onya. This is a pair of men's swim trunks. This is kind of like a not boutique, but just a, an online brand, I'm I guess you could say. Um Oh, they're just nylon. Uh, they're a men's XL, but they are pretty trendy and they're a good brand. They retail for quite a bit. The following isn't that big, but um, they did have a pretty good sell through rate and there were a few listed, not a ton, but they're in really good condition, really nice. So I wanted to pick those up. This is a cashmere sweater. It's like a longer sweater. Um, maybe like a tunic sweater. It doesn't have the tag, so I had to use the material tag with the RN number and I believe, oh my gosh, I don't remember what it is. It's nothing special. I think charter, I think it is, I don't remember. Um, I have this up for $29.99 and I picked it up because it was cashmere. That's, that is why I picked it up. <laughs> this is a Zara kids little sweater look at how cute that is it has like the toggle buttons so cute I'm really not expecting much for this it is a two to three and I think I have it up for 12 15 this is a very cute Madewell like a denim square neck top I got it in hopes that someone would buy it for Valentine's Day because look at those cute little hearts so cute. Um, it's an extra small. I think that, I think it was not that recent either. Oh no, it was spring 2020. So fairly new style. It's very cute. I love the square neck and like the smocking. I love it. I want someone to buy it. <laughs> um, made well, I can't help, but I can't help, but buy it. I just can't leave it behind. It's one of my favorite brands to wear. And I know that it's not it's not super cheap, so it doesn't make sense to me why it resells for so low or why people aren't buying it more often, like um, on eBay or Poshmark. At least, you know, like the, the tops and stuff like that. Um, 
This is a Nike cropped hoodie. It has a metallic. It's a women's XL. Very cute. It's in really good condition. It doesn't even, it doesn't feel like it's been worn or washed very often. This was another funky pickup. <laughs> Those are the black diamond. They are hiking pants, I want to say, or maybe cycling. I think they're cycling pants maybe hiking. I don't know. They were in the same bin as those rock climbing pants that I found. So maybe they belong to the same person, but they do not resell very, um, high at all. I have them up for $19.99. I'll probably end up getting 10, 15, maybe. Here is another skirt. It's Bront by Moon. I just really like the print of this and the fact that it was new a tag and so light. I think it's a merino wool. I think, yeah, it's a merino wool. So that's another reason why I picked it up. Not necessarily scarf season, but it was new a tag and super cheap. Next is a Rebecca Taylor size eight dress. I got excited when I saw this just because in my head for some reason I thought they this brand um, resell, resold <laughs> for a good amount but it does not necessarily. Um, some styles do and some don't and this is one of the styles that doesn't sell for very much just because I think it's a, a dated style with the kind of crocheted neckline. Still very cute, simple black dress, really well made. It's really pretty and somebody's gonna love it. But I think I have it up for 30, maybe 40 on that one. This is a brand. Oh yeah, this is, I've bought this brand a couple times. You can't really see it. It's, yeah, I'm not showing up. It's called Just Female. And I'm so confused by this brand because it's a very nice brand, very well made, very expensive, but it does not resell at all. Like I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I've had a couple things by the same brand and they've been sitting for years and I don't, they're really cute. They're like designer pieces. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but this is a very cute white sheer dress. I love it. It even has the style name on the tag. Like it's recently made just female. It it's, it's a really good brand. It's the Aphrodite dress. Here you go. Just female. Yeah. Really bummed out because I know this is worth so much money, but, um, I think I have it up for 40. I don't, I don't know why I picked it up because I should have known from the other two pieces that I have that have not sold that this one will probably sit for a while. Maybe I can take it to like a consignment store. There's one close to my house I want to try out. I just want to take everything there that's not selling and see what they will give me. Um, next is a Jules hoodie. Just a red hoodie. It has like what is this scotland those must be like a freeway sign i'm guessing yes <laughs> i don't know maybe i'm wrong um but yes this i haven't picked up this brand before but i've heard lots about it so i have that up for 30. we'll see how that does this is a really pretty denim dress long button front it's really well made and this one is a designer as well. Let me find the tag. It is, sorry, Muji, M-U-J-I. Um, I can't remember what I have this listed for. I wanna say 40 or 50, but this is a really good brand. One I've never heard of, but I could just feel the quality of the material and just how well made it is. And I thought I would give it a shot. We'll see. I mean, it's definitely not like a bolo, but we'll, we'll see how it does. 
This is a Free People extra small floral print. It's like a long sleeve. It has a tie sleeve. Oh, it's not a romper, JK. It's just a dress, really, really mini dress or a tunic. Um, very pretty. I think I have it up for $19.99. Free People is just, it's just a $20 flip now from the bins for me, unless it's something substantial, you know, but um, most items I'm not expecting much for them, especially the older styles, but I will still pick them up at the bins if they're in good condition and um, yeah, trendy. Okay, this is a random <laughs> pickup as well. <laughs> what was I thinking this day? It must have not been a very good day. Um, this is a Hamilton t-shirt, which they do sell online. So if you go and you see it and you don't want to pay retail for any merch, you just buy it on eBay. It's a size large. Yeah, I think I have this one up for 20 as well. This one is a logo, Lori Goldstein. I will pick up her stuff if it's a larger size and if it's unique. So this is a really pretty mesh cardigan. It's sheer, you wear a little tank top underneath. Um, yeah, I love it. It's very nice and very well made and it's a size large. It feels nice. Okay, I have two more items left. I'll save the best for last because it really was the best. This is a really, this is an ICP hat. I've never listened to them a day in my life, <laughs> but I know that some people do. And this is, I believe a vintage, yeah, 2011. So officially vintage. Um, it's just a, an ICP hat. It's in really good condition and why not pick it up? The only thing <laughs> I crack up so hard whenever I see ICP stuff because it reminds me of workaholics. If you haven't watched that show, maybe you will think it's funny. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff I think is funny, but there's an episode where they go to a juggalo fest and it is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. So whenever I see this, I think of that episode. Um, it's called workaholics. This is from maybe like eight years ago. No, maybe five years ago. Um, I think it was on Comedy Central, but um, yes, that's what I think of when I see ICP. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> is dinner done? Okay, sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, she's gonna stay for the last and final piece. This is something that I waited in a new rotation for. <laughs> yes. And, um, and <laughs> I, so I waited in the new rotation and I pulled this out. I never wait in the new rotations. I'm never like, I just don't find anything. But anyways, it is a We The Free oversized Sherpa cardigan. It's humongous. <laughs> Hold on tight. I don't want you to fall. Um, uh -huh. It has the button front. And it is reversible. It's a size medium. And I think I have it up for 80. It's really, really cute. But this was probably the best find of the day. Anyways, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> um, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Say bye.